Hello Sagittarius! Yeah, my best friend is a Sag, so I like you guys. <laughs> Hello Sagittarius. We want to talk about the best matches for Sagittarius. Okay, but before we... Uh, um, also we want to talk about best matches for Sagittarius according to different kind of soul connection. We're talking about mirror souls, soul twins, split twin flames and the monadic twin flames. So stay tuned for that. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Janine. I am an astrologer. I am a psychic medium. I am a spiritual coach and a manifestation coach. And I am available for personal readings and personal counseling. And of course, also for your own personal astrology analysis and if you want to know what you would get you could check out my celebrity couple analysis you will find on this channel but yeah Sagittarius let's talk about your perfect match and first of all I would like to say it could be any sign seriously any sign a soulmate can be any sign you know it's different with turned flames and stuff but a soulmate can be any sign that is your perfect match so if you ever read um, like, oh, this sign would not be good for me, then um, please, please, please discard that. OK, I'm thinking what would not be a good match for Sagittarius, maybe like a Taurus. Yeah, Taurus energy can be a bit lazy and Sagittarius is like really out there. You want to learn and study, you want to explore. So let's just take take Taurus as an example. But please don't think like, oh no, my person is a Taurus. That's why we're taking it as an example. Maybe you have read Sagittarius and Taurus is not a good match. However, that might not apply to you as well because that is very shallow. And on this channel, we don't do shallow. We don't do shallow astrology, we dive deep. You know, it might be, for example, that if you're a Sagittarius, but you may have a Taurus moon or a Taurus rising, or your sun might be in Sagittarius, but in the second house, which would be the Taurus house. So you would have Taurus energy, even though you're Sagittarius, and then a Taurus would be good. Or your Taurus person may have a Sagittarius rising sign or a Sagittarius moon or the sun in Taurus, but in the ninth house, which would be the Sagittarius house. So they would have Sagittarius energy. And it would be a good match. So you would need the entire chart in order to determine if it's a good match or not. And not just the sun sign. You need the houses, the rising sign and all of that too. And also in synastry, of course. So even if you don't have your person's exact birth time and we don't have the houses, we don't have the rising sign. In synastry, we can still, still see is there good matches um, going on between your plans. Synastry would be your birth chart on top of your person's birth chart and then you would see what interactions your planets have if you have like indicators for a long lasting relationship and that is worth more than whatever your sun sign is. Okay, so that is very important. You can have, your soulmate can have be any, any, any sign. Please never say no to a person just because you read somewhere that their sun sign doesn't match yours. That's BS, that's shallow. And again, on this channel, we don't do it shallow. Um, what we often see in soul connections though, or in soulmates, is what I just said. It's like one person's sun, moon, rising sign will be found in the other person's sun, moon, rising sign. For example, again, Sagittarius. It could be that your person most likely has a Sagittarius rising sign or moon sign, or if they would be Taurus, then you would have a Taurus rising or moon sign, or again, the house placement like sun or moon in the second or ninth house, you know, that would be very, very typical for soulmates. But even if you don't have that, don't worry about it, because again, either you may not know the exact birth time or you have other amazing stuff, for example, like a very positive Venus-Saturn connection. Venus is the planet of love, Saturn is the planet of commitment. And you have amazing stuff, you have some trines going on. So it can still work out, we need to see the entire chart. But we're talking about archetypes right now. And please, when I talk about the Sagittarius archetype, please have in mind that you are more than one archetype, okay? So this might not apply to you. Again, we would have to see your entire chart. But when we talk about Sagittarius archetype, what would be a very good match? And again, we're talking about different kind of soul connections as well. And um, this must not apply to uh, this. This doesn't have to apply to you. I mean, um, because again, it also depends on your level of maturity 
always on your level of ascension because if you still have shadows you can only attract shadows doesn't my, mean doesn't matter what sign they are okay so they could be what i'm just saying i could say that could be your perfect match but if you're unhealed you will not attract a perfect match and you will have other stuff going on that in your chart that is saying like no it's uh, there to trigger to help you ascend uh, a catalyst or something like that <clears throat> so again please keep that in mind we have to look at the entire chart but for Sagittarius, like a mirror soul connection would be another Sagittarius. But please keep in mind, a mirror soul would also have the same moon placement, maybe the same rising or in Venus. They would have many of the same placement, not just one. Okay, there will be a lot of mirroring going on. That's why it is a mirror soul, because the mirror most of the important stuff in your birth chart that you have but let's say um, you attracted a mirror soul another Sagittarius and that could be a perfect thing or not so good it depends again on your level of ascension because imagine you still have your shadows and you can only attract somebody on your level so they will have many shadows as well and since they're a Sagittarius person they will have the same shadows and that can you, you can drive each other crazy basically imagine both people are very like they, they never say sorry they never want to give in that doesn't work or both people try to avoid conflict and never talk it out it doesn't work either you need to have some kind of balance here um so if you're not healed another sagittarius could not be a good thing however if you have dealt with your shadows another sagittarius could be beautiful because you're the same you get each other you see where the other person is coming from however this connection would not be a connection for a big spiritual journey i'm not saying that you cannot um, evolve spiritually if you are dating another sagittarius but then your journey would more likely be maybe on if you even chose to do that not every soul chooses to come down here and go through a spiritual awakening journey not everybody on this planet does that let's be honest um, and that's okay not everybody wanted to other people they came to do, have fun or whatever you know um, so again not every person is going through that process or maybe you decided your soul decided to go through this process but not with a counterpart but when it comes to health or your family or your job you know um, there are different things that can trigger a or mental health you know depression can trigger a spiritual awakening it doesn't have to do with a divine counterpart but a mirror soul usually would not be the one that is triggering you into this big ascension because they are so much like you and likeness can create stagnation okay however um you can still grow old together with this person because again you get each other once you have filled your stuff it could be your perfect match it just n would not be the perfect match to trigger you into your ascension journey however if you m attract them very early on and you ha have a lot of shadows then dealing with those shadows could trigger that most likely you would just mean oh we're not compatible and split another great um like two signs amazing for Sagittarius would be the other fire signs that would be Leo and Aries and we do see it here we do have fire signs are masculine energy and since they don't have the line they're the emotional energy those are the more rational energies those are the ones that are controlled by the right side of the brain more here we have the left um, half of the brain side and so you guys are fire and masculine so another fire sign would be a good match because you already get each other you know you ha you share the element and also in astrology the other fire signs would be 120 degree apart from you guys Sagittarius and that would form a trine in astrology and trines are the most harmonious connections in astrology that they are they're flowing energy they're very harmonious so if you attract a those are called a soul twin connection if you attract a soul twin and again not every aries or leo would be your soul twin you would have to have other indicators as well we're just talking about the archetypes but a soul twin is a very harmonious connection you get each other those are usually the people that meet each other they notice oh we're a good match and they grow all together unless of course again if you have a lot of shadows then you will attract somebody triggering those shadows for you if you have abandonment issues you cannot attract um, union you can only attract somebody who's on off on off or ghosting or stuff like that um, 
so a soul twin it's not a twin soul it's a soul twin and i like to use the metaphor of biological twins that are not identical twins but they are born together they made the same experience growing up in the same household so there's a lot of likeness yet they're different and a soul twin would be again you would get along easily because of the likeness however there is some growth going on because you bring other stuff to the table you guys are ruled by jupiter and then we have leo that is ruled by the sun and aries is ruled by mars so you bring different energies to the table which can create some kind of a growth it's not the rapid growth like a split twin connection we're going to talk about next it's more a very comfortable growth and involvement and you have may have different interests but you teach each other and still you have a lot of sameness because you, you again you share a passionate fire energy so that's a very harmonious connection so another fire sign would be very good for you let me talk about split twin for Sagittarius. Um, that would be Gemini. We see here we got fire and air. They're both masculine energies. And why both masculine? Because the oversoul is masculine and split twin. They share one oversoul and then they split. And I like to use the metaphor of identical twins. It was one fertilized egg that created a mass of cells and then that mass of cells split and created two embryos and they do have the special bond however they are both their own individual they're not half people and split twins are not half souls half souls don't exist okay um so they do have the special bond however they are their own individual and yeah they are um again the oversoul in this case would be masculine however in sp every soul has both aspects feminine and masculine so the oversoul is more masculine but still has feminine traits of course and then there's the split of one soul gets the feminine the bigger feminine chunk of that and the other one a bigger masculine chunk again every soul will still have both to a certain extent and that can differ and and um we talk about an opposition here so gemini is ruling the third house and Sagittarius is ruling the ninth house, so they are polar opposites. They are completely different. However, like magnets, they always like um, draw each other. You know, it, it, opposition will always stay. You know, you can overcome a square, which could be like more like a karmic aspect, but the opposition is a hard aspect will always uh, stay. And unlike the soul twins that have this flowing connection it's a hard aspect it's a difficult aspect and that is why the split twin journey can be very difficult because you're confronted with your shadows you have the runner you have the chaser and that is important because this particular um soul connection can really repel you forwards in your repel is the wrong word can bring this accelerated motion in your own journey because um, you are confronted with your opposite still a counterpart because again they share the oversoul and that can be um, that difficulties we learn we, we ascend by healing shadows so a connection that is making your shadows obvious and helping you heal can make you transcend way 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 more um, or ascend way more than the um, more flowing training connections they don't have the capability usually to ascend as high as the split twin connections however I always say a split twin will have opposites like in this case we got Gemini and um, I was gonna say Jupiter no Sagittarius however they must have something in common otherwise you just complete opposites and complete opposites cannot be a match because you don't get each other at all you have no common ground you don't understand so a split twin connection would have a complete opposites and more than just one in your chart obviously you have many opposites but also many same energy and that could be like having the sun one in sagittarius one in gemini but in the same house or you have the moon in the same sign um, or my split twin flame and i for example we have the sun in the same sign we're both virgos but we have opposing rising signs. I'm a Gemini rising, he's a Sagittarius rising. 
So my son is in one house in the fifth and his is in the opposing house, the eleventh. So we've got the same sign but opposing houses. And you will find that in split twin flames a lot. They will have opposites. They need those to balance them out because again, they were one soul and split in opposites. But since they share the oversoul, they must have sameness as well. And once they find uh, or once they balance their own inner energy and do the healing work, then even though they're opposites, it's your perfect match. It is your perfect match because you share the oversoul. It's your perfect match. And you would be a perfect match because you are opposite. So you bring opposite energy to the table and that will of course expand it because you have different qualities and that can complement each other but again to complement each other you need common ground or you just are too different and again once you are healed your split twin flame can your divine counterpart to grow old with absolutely because again it's your perfect match but i want to point out again just because you're Sagittarius and you're dealing with a Gemini, please don't say, oh, they're much split twin flame. No, you need to check your entire chart because you will have many oppositions and many sameness. Okay, very important. It's just not one aspect. Um, then let's talk about monadic twin flames. Monadic twin flames will share the same energy. However, they're yin yang. Because we already established in order to bring some growth, you cannot be exactly the same. You need some difference. And the split twins need an outside force. The outside force, for example, could be the moon in the same placement or um, the sun being in the same house, even though in opposite signs, you need a third energy. And monadic twins already bring that to the table automatically because they are one soul that was never split, just the more physical energies are split because they live in two bodies as one soul and we do see it here we're talking about Sagittarius um, no, sorry um, yeah Sagittarius yes sorry <laughs> and you see the perfect counterpart is the another emotional energy is fire and water those are counterparts because we have masculine and feminine going together and for Sagittarius that would be Pisces and if you're wondering why Pisces, it's because you're both ruled by Jupiter. Pisces is ruled by Jupiter and co-ruled by Neptune. So you are automatically, you share this Jupiter connection. You were both born, <coughs> sorry, with the Jupiter connection. And again, they share the, the, they are one soul, Jupiter in this case, and just um, the more... Um, earthly signs <laughs> we got the yin yang and we've got the masculine in this case of course would be you guys Sagittarius is the masculine and Pisces is the feminine energy so Sagittarius is the yang aspect of Jupiter and Pisces is the yin aspect of Jupiter so again a monadic twin flame you will have a lot like that you would have that with your moon sign as well definitely moon is the most important in astrology especially when we talk about um, connections relationships and you have that in many different um, things not just um, the sun sign or one sign you will have that throughout all of your planets something like that going on okay very important every all of your planets will be connected and then of course you have the synastry on top of that to prove that <laughs> um, because you will have amazing synastry connections um, so let's wrap it up Sagittarius good for you any sign it depends on your individual chart then very good of course another Sagittarius depending on your but it always depends on your level of maturity and ascension um, when I talk about ascension it does not mean that every you can only attract somebody if you're like spiritually ascended no we're talking about you don't have shadows in yourself you learned for example one person was very jealous and then they overcame that and it has nothing to do necessarily with spiritual ascension it has to do with maturity and dealing with your shadows then again uh, Sagittarius good match if you are um, cleared of your old stuff then the other fire signs Leo and Aries then uh, we do have the opposing sign would be Gemini but you need to have something in common otherwise it would be no good match at all it's either perfect or no good at all and then we do have for you guys Pisces so
So again, if you like this video, please help me grow my channel by liking, subscribing, hitting the bell icon, letting me know what you think about it. And I do wish you all the best now. You can book your own personal analysis, of course. Bye-bye.